Today is the fixture that every Spurs fan longs for. Arsenal. At home. I say home. It's at Wembley. Lies, lies, lies. North London Derby, though, should be a bit of a cracker. We've also got some transfer news. Watch on after the intro to find out what we've done. Howdy doody everyone, welcome back to Homegrown Hotspur. Yes, fifth round of the FA Cup, first knockout round, first leg against Sporting, but no, Premier League today, Arsenal. Who happened to be in seventh position, just one above us? What do you mean you've slipped to sixth? Still a bit raw. Let's see how we got there then. We've played a number of games since we last had the pleasure of one another's company. Uh, form has been relatively indifferent. Two draws, managing to beat Brighton away and then losing to Man City. That kind of... <sighs> annoying. 3-1 against Villa and then we've also just got round to the fifth round of the FA Cup having beaten Huddersfield and that was a bloody struggle. More so than you would think. Yes, yes we win... 2-1, tail of the tape, says very differently. Huddersfield absolutely dominated us with the opportunities that they had. They were perhaps taking a few more pot shots than we were, but oh, no. Really struggled to deal with their press. So that's something we've got to look out for when we play Arsenal, which is our next game. But hold on. You, you what? You're in February? Yes, that means the transfer window for the winter of 2018 has been and truly gone. Have we done things? Oh, yes, we bloody well have. We've gone a bit wild. I completely forgot that you wouldn't have known this. Uh, we've managed to get rid of Christian Eriksen out on loan. He's gone to Manchester United. They're paying a portion of, of his wage, which is better than we could have hoped. In all honesty, we, he can't play against us, but he can probably do something I mean they're, they're top they are top by a country mile it doesn't really matter we're getting more money off the wage budget we need that because we've, we've signed two new players Damari Gray coming in for Leicester yet to really impress with a, a 6.78 in the hang, ah that's not for us three appearances he's made maybe I should do this should do that 6.9 two assists actually a lot better than I thought it was 15 million may be a bit rich for some people's money but he's the youngest sort of wide player that's available who has got ridiculously good potential as you can see there plenty of pace and is a lot better at Tom in at Tom Ince than Tom Ince goodness me can play on either wing he gives us options and he's actually okay at finishing. So, I think he's going to be a bit good if he continues to play as well as he's started. I know I've contradicted what I said earlier, but now I know actually how well he has played. Two assists, I can't complain. But the biggest one, Fraser Forster. My patience with Ben Foster has grown rather thin over the past few games with howlers galore, kicking the ball forwards at opposition players. Not really what I want he's 34 35 he's worth next to nothing uh, he's still on a pretty hefty wage tried to ship him out to Southampton because they didn't want to let Fraser Force to go without that replacing him and they'd already signed a much younger better goalkeeper who's Serbian or something we we can't do that because of imposed rules on myself and I instantly regret them every single time I see a good young player moving to another team think Oh, he's worth a fraction of what we've had to pay for someone who's worse than he is. Does anyone watch Suits? Doesn't he look like Trevor from Suits? If you don't watch Suits, watch Suits. Advertising revenue, please. Thank you. He's a damn sight better, and he's a damn sight taller than Ben Foster. He's not yet started a game, so what would be fairer than to throw him in at the deep end in the North London derby at Wembley? I think that's it for news. 
oh, whistle stop tour through the transfers. The reason is because we we don't really we've got plenty of transfer money. The wage is still an issue. We're still failing that financial fair play thing that I didn't realise was a thing, and I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. So we are the early Saturday game, the 3rd of February. I don't know why I'm mentioning the date. I don't think I've ever done that. Roger East, he's a smiley chap. He, talking of actor references, doesn't he look like Mark Strong? Don't know who he is either, do you? No, you don't. Theo Walcott's out with a shoulder, out a dislocated shoulder. I mean, if he didn't have a shoulder, I would expect him to be not playing football at all ever. I, I, I presume it's a fairly important part of the body. I'm trying to imagine myself without a shoulder. Something like that, maybe. This is one of the more strange tangents I've dragged myself onto since making content. Moving on. Harry Kane's form has been pretty erratic, as you can see from the last five games. He's only a 6.8. He's still banging in goals, but... It really does depend against the, the type of opposition he's against and how they're defending against him. I've seen in the past few games, he just gets completely marked out of the game. They've got two central defenders and their defensive midfielder all sat on him. So it doesn't matter what the other players do. There's just no space to move, which is why I've kept the wingers, trying to increase width, etc. and try to stretch the opposition. Most of the time, it seems to be working at least... And if everyone's paying attention to Harry Kane, it means that others come into the game. Oh, that, that rhyming is sexual. We are favourites for this tie against Arsenal, the North London derby. Of course, I had to feature one, like a proper one this season, not the Tin Pot Cup that we did earlier in the season. Ignore that one, although we did win, so don't ignore it that much. Please, Mr Levy, don't ignore it that much. We need that. We need it. Even if Arsenal manage to defeat us today, they will not leapfrog us. Unless some magic minuses points from us. So, mathematicians at the ready. But we have really dropped out of the reckoning. 46 points. And Man City romping around 53. They've closed the gap significantly on Manchester United. Who were, at one point, 13 points clear of everyone. Which is ridiculous. But somehow, they've fallen away. Man City have clawed back. And even Liverpool have clawed themselves in. West Ham... And Chelsea are outliers, yet we are still way behind and we're going to have a game in hand on a lot of the teams in the top four or five. So Fraser Forster making his debut for Tottenham Hotspur today. Danny Rose, Carter Vickers, Keane and Walker make up the back four. Hughes and Dyer in the middle once again. Gray, Ali and Berahino make up that attacking three and Harry Kane up top on his own. Arsenal have many threats Many threats. Jack Wilsh is on the bench for Arsenal. His contract runs out at the end of the season. Do I do it? Comment section. Am I allowed to do that? He's British. Well, he's, he's English, in fact. But he plays for the enemy. Am I allowed to potentially sign Jack Wilshere? Can you imagine if I did that? I think North London would just go, like, basically, like the riots in whenever they were years ago. Don't do that again, please. It'll, they'll probably torch the new stadium. We haven't even moved into it yet. Mr Hunter has been trusted with the, the almighty task of motivating the troops. Not that they should mean, need it, but they're getting it anyway. Let's start as we mean to go on and hopefully get the W against the arse. It's an all. Better in, whips the corner in and Giroud just nods it wide. Ooh, warning shots already. This isn't great. And we, we have no control over the game so far. It's all, all Arsenal. Although Walker plays a great throw in, into, into Kane and deflection. That's a corner kick. Can we make it count? Hino floats the ball in. Xhaka clears. With it, can't even beat the first man. Caught Ashley Young syndrome, obviously. Danny Rose plays a, a throw in into Deli Alley. Dyer with a oh, die out effort. Absolutely useless. Have I made sure that he's not taking long shots? He did this the last game and every single one. Cazorla over the bar. Walker does well. Plays the ball into Kane. Now can we spring a counter from this? Deli Alley running in and check it. That's piss poor. Half an hour in. That's the first shot on target. Berahina with the corner again. Can he beat the first man? No. It, it's Xhaka once again. Frere bloody Xhaka. Deli Alley. Oh. For once, Berahino puts a decent ball in, but we fail to make it pay. The thing mostly affecting our form recently has been the awful morale. Just haven't been able to get it above okay. And 
difficulty with that is you can't go hard on players. It's taken me an age to get it from like poor to okay over the past couple of games. Unfortunately, defeating the likes of Huddersfield and Aston Villa doesn't really go that far into improving that sort of nonsense. <sighs> I'm far from complete. See, oh, they're all fired up, are they? Brilliant, right. Maybe I should have just done that all along. Can you be happier, please? Please, go, I don't know, touch your wives inappropriately. Well, you'd say inappropriately. It's probably appropriate for a wife. You, you're allowed to, to touch them there. Just make sure they're not underage. Not that they would have any underage wives. I don't know what I'm saying. We don't have any Adam Johnsons in the team, do we? Just checking. Nope. Fine. Second half probably would be a good thing right now. Before the police come round. Yep. Yeah. Keener to die. Berahino, he sets Berahino running off. Why are you doing that? You absolute dildo. Christ almighty, you deserve to be stubbed up a vagina. Doesn't look like either team has made any changes at halftime. I mean, I know the changes that I didn't make, but I'm not sure about Arsenal. I didn't really pay that much attention to whether they made any changes. Danny Rose is charging down that left-hand side. Mustafi clears the ball, falls conveniently into the path of Alexander Oxlade-Chamberlain, but Carrie Kane goes for... Oh, my God. I was just about to... I was just prepared to go loopy at him and say, do not do that again. Keep on doing that. Do that as much as you like, Sunshine, because that is absolutely ridiculously fucking incredible. Did a swear. Don't even care. More rhyming as well. This is what, what happens when I get excited about good goals. Harry Kane, one touch. What is that? That is ridiculous. Enough the bar as well. He's you're borrowing it. Goodness me. Maybe he should have a pay rise. Actually, no, we can't afford it. Do not even suggest stupid things like that. Barry, he knows in, is he? Is he put Kane in? And that is what I was expecting him to do last time. Balloon it up over the bar. This is a nice bit of play by Arsenal. Mon Monreal is there, but no. Hughes is in the way. Thankfully, Kane holds the ball up. Can we do something more? Because just gone right through him. He's, he's nicked the ball back, the little sod. And now Arsenal are going to counter. Alexis running and cutting inside. Can we ever get the ball off him? Uh, and uh, Dyer's just done that. Thank you. Thank you for that. You've done your job. Gary Kane plays the ball into Deli Alley. Deli Alley uh, fortunately goes for... I don't even know what he was doing, but whatever it was, it didn't bloody work. Now, Arsenal have now moved to an attacking movement. I've had pass into space on for the majority of the match, but this should hopefully help us out even further. They're going to leave further space in behind for us to exploit with our pace. Like uh, Gray into Berry, but he's lofted it too far. Berry, who know, chases after it, plays the ball into Deli Alley. That's cleared. Only falls as far as Hughes on the edge of the area. Hughes into Die, into Berry, Hino. Kane oh, can't do what he did before. Here we go. Arsenal's chance to pounce with pace. It, Danny Welbeck's recently come on. Oh, now we're out to. The pace monster Bellerin on the right-hand side. That's a deflection into Welbeck. Alexis, there's players crowding him out. And we, have we managed... Has the danger gone? No. Alexis whips the ball in. Forster uses his six-foot-seven frame and collects it with ease. Oh, it's lovely to have a monster in goal. Like Frankenstein. Monreal into Ozil. Oh, that's a great block by Carl Walker. And it's, it's found his way back once again to Ozil. Wilshire's now on for Arsenal. Monreal with a, a far post cross... Can we clear it? Can Gray finish it off? He can. Only as far as Bellerin. Bellerin plays it into Wilshire's feet. Now Ramsey playing it all the way back to Koscielny. Come on, Kane. Put some pressure on them. Put some pressure. Force them into a mistake. Break some... No, don't say that when uh, Wilshire or, in fact, Ramsey has got the ball. Gray now surging down that... Oh, he's cut inside. Kane, oh, tipped over by Czech. Don't want to say the words dominant performance, but oh, Kane is... Spunked it over the bar again. Danny Rose has been fantastic at left back. Oh, is Kane in behind? Is he? Can he hold it up? Is he going to go alone? He's gone alone. He's hit the pissing side post netting stuff. It's not gone in though. Dyer over the ball. That, that's why you don't. And Barry Hino's off. So how'd you be offside? Check punts the ball long. Hughes is there. Only falls as far as Alexis. Just over the halfway line. Now this is a quick bit of Arsenal being on play. Ramsey's driven forward. How the hell has he? Punched it that far. Well, if he can do that, keep on doing it. Uh, Forster has been fantastic once again. Kane with a, a first touch, like caressing a baby's backside. Although the resulting cross from Gray has failed to, to get him anywhere near the box. Mustafi clears it. Uh, now Ramsey has a chance to build forward. Welbeck's got pace. He's in behind. And that is... Uh, 
pathetic. Joe Ledley has come on for Eric Dyer and a phobie has come on for Harry Kane. Hopefully his pace will be a bit more difficult for Arsenal to deal with now that they're pushing and pushing for that equaliser. Carter Vickers has been imperious in the air. Rose has also been fantastic. I've said it once before, Deli Alley plays a phobie in. Now he's got a few defenders to beat. He's done one, he's done two, and he's just put it right. Ah, you bastard. Deli Alley is in the area. Dangerous, dangerous stuff, Deli Alley. Oh, come on. That's how you finish it. Come on, you little bitch. Oh. Well, 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 bloody well. Look at that lovely bit of play. Nice and composed in the box. Dilly Alley runs to the byline, cuts it back. And there comes the advancing of Phoebe Her to smash it into the bottom left-hand corner. Check didn't have a chance. One minute of additional time. Ozil spanks it clear. Is that going to be the last 30 seconds of the game? Hopefully Rose isn't dallying and he's going to give it away needlessly. Oh, he hasn't. That's surprising. That normally happens. Carter Vickers has got an opportunity to give it away and he has. He's, he's spunked it forward. Kashoni's there, meets the ball and Rose cleans it up. Carter Vickers tries again, only as far as uh, Mustafi. Now Gray and that's it. Done. We've professional performance Deli Ali has had a stellar game two assists to his name that is the third rhyme of today you should be going home pleased I was trying to rhyme it and I've screwed it up I'm eternally sorry what a performance against our big North London rivals Martin Hunter deserves it We've done well to motivate them. And look at that. That was the boost we needed. A huge win against our rivals has finally turned the corner for our morale. Hopefully, I won't screw it up from here on in. Absolutely dominated in terms of shots. Yes, there was a fair few from long distance, one of which was the goal that got us started. Arsenal didn't really threaten, despite me expecting them to. We kept Sanchez at bay, nice and quiet. Very little he did as they they failed to score. I can't remember the last time I managed to protect our goal from Arsenal. Fraser Forster is going to be great. Yes, make Tottenham great again. They're already great. We've won a cup. Shut up. We'll be very keen to see what. Where is all the negativity? There's normally negativity and stuff surrounding it. Right then, if you've enjoyed this victory against Arsenal, pop a like on there for me, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.